Shark Bite Improv is a short form uh, improv company, which means we do like quick game style performances, and we have been around for over a year now in Portland. Tonight, we are filming first television show, which will hopefully become a series uh, that will be shot over the summer. Yeah, we don't, we don't, we do the opposite of what's expected. Uh, my name is Josh Belleville, and Shark Bay Improv is an improv group set up by Nate Patterson um, to basically work us to the bone without paying us. I come back. <laughs> we have a good time, we make jokes, we embarrass ourselves and each other. Live from Studio A in the Rose City, it's Shark Bite Improv. <laughs> and now, here's your host, Nathaniel Patterson. Thank you all very, very much for sitting down and watching yet another episode of Live from Studio A. That's the name of the show. Something like that. Thank you all very much for <laughs> watching at home. Thank you to our studio audience. We're off to a good start. Yep. My, na <laughs> My name's Nathaniel Patterson, and this is Shark Bite Improv. <laughs> and tonight we have a very, very fabulous cast of players. We have Evan, Nick, Jonathan, Taylor, and Ryan. Let's give them a big old round of applause for their very hard work tonight. And what we do here is unscripted improv comedy. Nothing here is written down because none of us graduated the third grade and we you know, went to public school, so it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> so our first game is a game called Freeze Tag. It's for all the players, so let's bring them all up. And the way Freeze Tag works is, the way Freeze Tag works <laughs> is two people are gonna start a scene. So it's gonna be two people come up. Be Jonathan and Nick are gonna start a scene at any point Somebody can say freeze, tag them out, take their position, and start a whole new scene. And so for, for Jonathan and Nick, can I get a suggestion of uh, what is somebody's favorite food? Cabbage. And when you hear the word cabbage, what do you think of? The horrors of Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> Your suggestion <laughs> is the horrors of Ireland scene. Joe. Oh man, I don't want to be here right now. God, we got to go back. We got to go back. This is not good. I'm this so is not sick good. of potatoes. <laughs> Carl, come on, man. Every day, potatoes. Yeah, you're starting to you're starting to tweak out, man. You need to. It's lie home I'm deficient in all kinds of vitamins. Yeah, you just kind of you got when you take the bite, you just got to spit it out. It makes good vodka, though. Yeah, That's, I've been drinking a lot since we got here. I understand just completely. Just vodka. Uh, it freeze. Right. Now, Tabitha, we've been, we've been whoring <laughs> here in Galway for quite a long time. Yes, Gertrude. <laughs> You're not even from Galway. Well, you adopted me. What do you expect? I'm trying to place your accent, Tabitha. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not coming to you. Okay, I'm but sorry. It, I mean, that's not the point. The point is, like, we've, been, we've been working here at the top of the pub, at the top of the iron nail, for a long time. What? You just keep it a beat? I can't, I can't, I can't, cause I can't stay still when I'm talking to you. It just take forever to finish a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> you ran the gambit of the entire empire. I've been drinking so much vodka, it's just, I'm, I'm gone now, I'm gone. You, you drink vodka done. and go away. Sure. There's a Bushmills factory. Right over there! I'll see you later! <laughs> Freeze! <laughs> yeah, I just can't take you seriously in those pants. 
It's it's co they're, they're cotton dockers. <laughs> Maroon. It's really the best choice for an interview. I mean. I got a call back. Uh, I, I meet with the hiring manager tomorrow. Look, Mary, I don't. Yeah, but I like don't really see. I mean, I'm your neighbor, and I know. I, mean, I know I'm not even like your next door neighbor. I'm no, your cross like, neighbor, but I just. Yeah, you're I just feel nosy like, and digging into my shit. I feel like and it's I don't really civil duty that. just to let you know that those just don't freeze. Right. Okay, so, Tabitha. Yes. <laughs> Get my whiskey back. Yeah, what you want? What do you want? Are you a customer? I, uh, do you yeah. want the tops or the tails? I want the, the tails. You want the fronts or the backs? I want the front to the back. Let's go. Do you go. want it clean? Mm-hmm. That's going to cost more, and it's going to take some time. Oh, I don't care. I want uh, it off. Hang on. First of all, i gotta get, I got to get my shower ready, so let's get the wet wipes. Oh, that's that's not... Oh. Gotta take my, I'm taking my shower. Doc, I got this big lump in my armpit. Oh man! <laughs> I, haven't, <laughs> I haven't been able to put my arm all the way down in about two weeks. Yeah, my arm feels great. It feels really strong. Uh, well, it will. It will. But but this lump. I know. In you were my armpit. This the social science experiment has gone wrong completely from the get go. So I shouldn't have done the experiment where I use ten different kinds of deodorant every day. All day. That's that's correct. But if you used secret first, it probably yeah. You know what? It probably wouldn't be. It'd, it'd be worse actually. Oh! Okay, sorry. It still really tickles. Freeze. Yeah. <laughs> Here's that money from secret. Oh, thank you. Not a problem. <laughs> thank you. You know we yeah. we appreciate it, Doctor Mouthbottom, that uh, that you uh, promote our feminine brand deodorant because it's strong enough for a man, but it's you know, it's pH balance for a woman. That's right. So I don't know why I did that action, but that is right. It's 1963. You can still smoke. You're a doctor. Oh, yeah. You can pick that up. <laughs> it's just the infirmary. <laughs> Freeze. Well, son, I'm glad you decided to get out of the deodorant business and come clean chimneys with me. Yeah, Mom, I, uh, I'm done with that. I'm done working for a major Fortune 500 company like Secret Deodorants <laughs> so I can follow Dad's passion and yours of scrubbing soot out of old chimneys. Chimney cleaning is needed to keep the families warm. And you know what keeps them close? Heat. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike us. Well, you would think by definition that if they had like a lack of heat that uh, they would huddle. No, no, you no. You know, like, like orphan children else. are always like, freeze. So when you're doing the upside down vertical butter churning, what you got to do <laughs> is you got to shove real hard when you go up and then the pull down, you just let it glide. That's oh, that's you... totally different than what you and mom have been doing for the last few minutes. <laughs> you were like, it was just this. It wasn't freeze. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you need to grab the pole. I mean, listen, you've been working here for three days now, and when you go up to do your pole dance, you just sort of stand there, and you're not getting any tips, and no one's buying drinks because they're just disgusted. Well, that's because they outlawed prostitution <laughs> here in Galway. I didn't dance. I laid on my back and let the dock workers come in 12 at a time. Praise. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I told you not to hire Tabitha, all right? She's old, she's ugly. It's not gonna work. You're, 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 I, say I goodbye hired, to your business. Okay, Gertrude walked in and Tabitha was right behind her and I, I Gertrude's Freeze. money, mine. I'm holding my money until Tabitha comes out. Mm. Oh, you want Tabitha? I want Tabitha, she's my favorite. Let me just split personalities. <laughs> 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 and see! <laughs> oh, 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 that <laughs> is ridiculous. <laughs> Twelve at a time. Let's play a game of change it. So changes for three people. Let's bring up three players, please. <laughs> so we have Nick, Taylor, and Ryan. The way change it works is they're going to start a scene. At any point, I can say the word change it. And that will make them change what they're doing. It's, it's a pretty complicated game that <laughs> warrants that explanation. So, uh, from w can I get, uh, let's see, we did food. Let's, let's, can I get a, a time period in history that is not full of Irish prostitutes? 1905. <laughs> no, that's, that'll work, but it is full of Irish prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on where you're 
1905 is your suggestion. <laughs> the door is still going to squeak. You're only you're only lubing up the top hinge there. I mean, <laughs> God, I pay you people a whole dollar every couple weeks. Change it. I don't pay you because you're both Irish, and I don't really like that. Change it. I pay you more than you're worth, <laughs> which well, is an undisclosed already. amount, apparently. Well, it's maybe true. <laughs> I want you to know that this door here, it's not dim. But you wanted to do. What? Wow. <laughs> His head got conked on the on the boat over. Oh, uh, okay. His that brain's makes... a little bit scrambled. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm saying that you need to. There's there's more than one hinge. The door. You opens. know. You know. He's very good if you mime it out. If he understands it a bit better, if you mime it to him. But say you say, dear. He got. To, he's got to mime it to you. <laughs> Change it. <laughs> He's got to do a special dance for you, darling. You, you, you're, you're, you're you learning Change how you're explaining it. You are, le you are learning inhibited. <laughs> <laughs> inhibited. He this, this is I could go out to any corner and get people to fix my door and clean my floors, okay? I worked Your very hard at inheriting a lot of money. And, and this is ridiculous. I just, I just want people to come in and say, wow, your door opens so smoothly. So what you tell me to do, <laughs> See what you she really did. need to put Marie on this derringer. See what she did? You got to, you got to shine That, that brain to injury it. must have been serious. You sound like a combination of Irish and Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> he, had a very, he had a multicultural childhood. You, oh. got, you got to understand. Okay. Um, <sighs> darling, darling. Well, he did it. Want to try it? Try it out. Oh no! You open it. I, I don't really want to touch it at this point. <laughs> Just open it. Op and what is that supposed to mean? I don't want to get a release. I don't want to Change it. <laughs> I'm worried that the door is going to get so slippery that you can't even get it open. <laughs> Change it. <laughs> Good thing there's no door in there, because I can just ever open. Fuck, even I'm lost. <laughs> I, uh, change how the door opens. Uh, change it. Uh, Poof. Ooh, hey, there was no squeak hurt. that time. <laughs> <laughs> and then it did break the door. Ding. Oh, p perfect. Um, it's an open bar. This isn't a bar. This is my house. <laughs> <laughs> I live here. I you have could people. make it a bar. I might. And then more Irish people would come and buy drinks from you. I Change it. <laughs> and then more Irish people would come and steal everything you own because you're a Change fucker. Change it. <laughs> You'd have more whores, certainly. <laughs> <laughs> whores are not the problem. Particularly of the Irish variety. <laughs> it's, it's that no matter... Oh, my God. Okay. All right, no, let's let's slow down. Let's calm, s breathe. S my, my slow therapist. it down, it's already gone. We need, I need, I Sorry, need. I think you need your eyes checked. <laughs> <laughs> Change it. You know what, you're right. My right eye has been going. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's a little distracting for conversations. <laughs> it, it's always wobbling a little bit to the side. You yeah, know, it's yeah, a little freaky looking. That. So listen. Since my death perception's pretty much gone, maybe we should just leave the door off. Uh, I think that's a fine idea. <laughs> I'm sure you do. No, that's, that's great. It's, you don't need to oil it if it's on the floor. Oh, it's, there's nothing, there's no hinge. There's no, there's no more hinge. You have to dance it out the door is Dean! <laughs> you have to dance the door Sir. How will oil make the door up? It'll slow it back up. It'll slow it, slur. It'll slow it back up. It'll... Sir. <laughs> You're scuffing up the floor I just washed. <laughs> Darling! And <laughs> scene! <laughs> I have to call the Irish Defamation League after this and apologize. <laughs> Profusely, <laughs> Ireland is not full of prostitutes, <laughs> alcoholics, and, mental in, and the mentally enfeebled. It is a beautiful and diverse land of <laughs> culture and heritage. <laughs> I'm actually part Irish. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
let's tell a story that's not involving Ireland. <laughs> Who's gonna tell a story today? Who's gonna tell a story? I'll tell a story. Jonathan's gonna tell yeah. a story. Excellent. Tell us a story, Jonathan. Okay, so uh, when I was in high school, I really wanted to get into baseball <coughs> only because there was this girl that really liked baseball players. So I decided Aww. that I would be like, oh, you like baseball players. I, I'm, I'm definitely trying out. And uh, my brother, he was great at sports. He's a, he's a very broish type figure. So <coughs> he, was, he was like helping me train and, and things like that. And uh, we were doing like grounders at the park and then he hit a pop fly and it started getting dark. And he was like, you can't really like, you're not really adequate in the art of baseball, so <laughs> we should probably go home. And he was like, I was like, no, 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 I can do this. Like, I want to do this. I want to do this. And so he hit a pop fly, and he was like, get under it. And I ran towards it. But when uh, the sun started setting, the grass started getting slick. So I went to catch it. I slipped, and the ball hit the glove that hit my eye, and I <laughs> fell. So I got under it, um, but then I had this <laughs> black eye for like a week. And then I, I was just like, no, I'm not doing baseball at all. Forget this. So that was it. Phil, Phil, get in here. Brother. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you want to play ball, brother? <laughs> I've been a baseball coach at the high school for 10 years now. Am I team? No, you're not on the team. You're 46. God damn it. Uh, listen, I, I you carry the things onto the field because my mother said, our mother, uh, that I had to hire you. I'm complaining because the kids are just getting worse and worse. <laughs> But not me. Oh. <laughs> Stand there. You look after him. Mom, mom, please, please don't. No matter do that what to happens me. to me. I'm gonna take up smoking if you make me do this. I can just imagine my voice in the future sounding horrible. <laughs> Michael, I'm not gonna be here very long. Get him a home or something. <laughs> they, they have places like that. You could just give him some food and like a, a thing and he'll be fine. I don't believe in that. I believe in brothers raising their brothers. Oh. Okay? Oh. And Michael. <laughs> I'm very ill. I, you, As you look ill. I have, I have dreams of becoming a great baseball coach one day. He'll hold me back. I'll end up at some middle school. Imagine, or worse, a high school. Maybe they'll make radio about him and you. <laughs> So, uh, you ready for tryout the other day? And, uh, Kim was looking at me. Oh, yeah? So I basically, you know, I did the baseball stance where you go like this. Oh, the, <laughs> the lean in, get ready for that grounder look? That's right. Yeah? Yeah? She, and? Didn't, she didn't notice. She wasn't looking? No. I think she was talking to her friend. What you gotta do, pop fly. <coughs> get under it. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> you get kind of good at this, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I gotta do? Danny, what you gotta do, you gotta go stand by your locker, mm -hmm. have your bat on your shoulder. Huh, <laughs> almost got you there. Yeah. Take your glove, have it on the head of the bat, walk around all cool like. <laughs> you walk up to your, just hold the ball for no, a second. No, yeah, I got it, I got it. Yeah. Hold the ball for a second. You got it? Yeah, yeah. You walk up to your locker, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. <laughs> What's your name again? Um, my, name, my name is Kim. How you doing, Kim? Good. And luckily she already has a baseball in her hands, so toss me one, bro. Toss me one. Toss me one. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> okay, I swear to God, Danny looks like some sort of decapitated rooster. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, just the baseball bat and then the you glove, want like... Lick of bat. <laughs> not today. <laughs> not, not today, Eric. Um, anyway, y y you're usually a better listener than this. Um, anyway, so he's sitting at his lo standing at his locker, and, he, and he's, like, trying to, like, do this strut thing, but I think he has something wrong with his hip because his ass was way out this way. And he's got the... 
it just, it looked like he was a strutting chicken. And then he proceeded to go in a circle around me, looking like he was chewing cut, but I think it was actually like some sort of bubble gum. And I just, I really, I just, I feel degraded <laughs> as a human being. Okay, so I, 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 I think I misinterpreted what you told me because I, I had the, there was a locker and I did this and then I went like, <laughs> and I walked around here like I was scoping her out, you know, and I was like, oh, 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 oh. So you're acting real cuck. Yeah. <laughs> what I said was not act like a cock at all. Oh. I'm sorry that my voice is a little messed up, but you know. I, yeah. The no, other I day apologize. when you had me, you know what you gotta do. You know what you gotta do. It was like a rooster, so I should probably do like Rolling Stones. I need you to let that bird influence out. Okay. Come over here. Come over here. <clears throat> We're gonna try it again. Okay. I shouldn't have made the baseball metaphor. Sorry. Instead of doing this whole turn the thing, turn yeah. the thing, do we the guy? She's got a ball by magic. Yeah. What I want you to do. I want you to actually try out. Somebody's got to take my place this season. Oh, uh, okay. I could do that. Yeah. And then you could. Assistant, coach. Hey, coach. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Never is. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to. It's a new season. Fills go, out. Go, Matt. Okay. That means I'm in. <laughs> no, our star player. Oh, that Phil. Yeah, the only one who knows how to play basketball out of everyone. <laughs> baseball. Is what I meant to That's say. what we play yeah, here, coach. Baseball. Let's get on it's, the same page. Yeah. Springtime. He got hit in the head by a baseball, which is, you know, surprising. I would say and it's apropos. It's, 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 that's a suddenly large word. Um, I may not be strong, but I read lots of Milton. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. I mean, we're 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 not going to make CIF. We're not gonna we're not gonna make anything. I'm gonna probably be fired, which will be you know, great because they pay me so well that I'll live forever. <laughs> well, you are a high school baseball coach in your 40s, so you've achieved all of life's goals. <laughs> yeah. Me, I this just. This is a public high school, so I guess that sounds about right. <laughs> Sir, I just look up to you as. Coach. I know I'm not going to be able to play this year. But what I think you might want to do is talk to my brother. I could train him. I can help him out. Because you don't want that, that, that puny kid, Albert. Isn't your Armstrong? brother like 85 pounds? He's 85 pounds. <laughs> but you know that? I only know that because I'm also the wrestling coach. <laughs> you know, <laughs> clarify that you're now. All, you're, all, you're always keeping your eyes out. So what I want you to what I'm, what I'm here, come on, I'm asking you. He'll be nice and little. He'll get walks all the time. You'll always have a man on when he's up. Okay, I don't believe the getting walks all the time part, but sure, I'll give you a chance. If you can train him, I will let him on the team. I probably gotta let that other guy on because, you know, we have like six people. Uh, at the rate this is going, there won't even be a baseball team. They gave me a hat. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> it looks really great on you. I'm, you're moving up in the world. Eric, that's fantastic. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> now that you're on the baseball team and all, I was wondering if you wanted to go on a date to the movie sometime? Gotta hit balls first. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I get that. But, like, afterwards, like, after the game on Friday? <laughs> I'm going to have to talk to brother. He, he, he might make me a star. If he makes me a star, I go to Hollywood. That's and great. I play with the Dodgers. <laughs> <laughs> but like baby steps first. So yeah, Friday yeah. at, uh, let's say like five? Sure. I'll pick you up? I'll have my brother pick you up. <laughs> okay. Does that sound good? Sure. Sweet. <laughs> so we've been winning a lot of games. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, undefeated. Undefeated? Who you playing? Well, we played, uh, <laughs> let's see, Maryvale. We played, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I guess we just won one game. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, you're off to a good start. Yeah. You know I'm Maryvale is a... Uh, 
Okay. No, well, no, for the yeah, sports that's true, that's program. True. That's that is the that is the school where all the science kids go. Yeah. You yeah. were almost gonna go there, bud. I wanted to. Yeah, but mom and dad didn't have the. We beat the Maryvale Meteors. Oh, we set that up so that the parents think we're good. They're like we, we, three leagues below us. We, we just, they're like. We won eight to seven. That was they had a pitcher, a first baseman, and a second. They didn't even have a third baseman. This isn't something to be proud of. I, it is. It's a, it's a W, coach. It's, I write the oh. W on my win chart before the game starts. <laughs> Because it's guaranteed. I believed in you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's I believed it was a t that is a earned W. That is earned those kids. Those kids, the little tiny one, and the one that your brother, who's clearly the model for ra the movie Radio. Yes. Hey Radio. <laughs> He's so quiet. <laughs> How long have you been there? Oh, I sleep in his oh. office corner outside. He won't let me in here. Got a little fear puke in my mouth there. <laughs> for a second. Try living with him. Well, I don't want to. No, please. I've got a. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Coach Matthews, um, we have won one game this entire season, which was a doctor game. You currently have a student living in your office. Well, he's my brother. <laughs> and you've taken up smoking in front of the children. Wouldn't which you? goes against, <laughs> I'm a principal of a public high school. Have you seen these kids? Yes, frequently. They're usually in my office. Complaining about you, actually. So, um, unfortunately, we're going to have a disciplinary hearing, which you have to be present at. Oh. Um, currently, from here on, you are suspended That's pending the investigation. <laughs> I would like to speak on behalf of Coach Franklin. <laughs> I have the chair, the floor. I will filibuster this disciplinary hearing according to Robert's rules of order. That, that's not how this works. You just I have begun, Coach, I have to say this. The man is a friend of mine. <laughs> he knew me when I was just a simple Dairy Queen employee <laughs> with hopes <laughs> and dreams of baseball. <laughs> so, uh, Coach put you into the, the pinch hitter, right? Is that right? Yeah. You get hit or you hit the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want to smoke? <laughs> oh, yeah. They're pretty addicted. Uh, well. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> God. Can you back up, please? Oh, sorry. We're in the batting cage, so I, just, I don't want We're you to get... win next week? I don't want you... Yeah. I mean... It's just, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, sure, sure thing. Uh, so how's, how's, how's Kim doing? Kim. Oh, you guys aren't dating? Oh, yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Oh. Well, yes. Well, my brother, he, he took her out to Wendy's, and then he told me she had a great time. And, um. So <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so you're not dating her? Well, I see her every day. So Under. <laughs> what? <laughs> Kim is a nice lady, and I think that she has eyes for you. She mm -hmm. said that you look like chicken, which is good because you've got legs. <laughs> have legs. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. I think you should, as they say, swing in a hit her. No. <laughs> You should take a swing, not at her, <laughs> but you should. I got it. I got okay. it. Okay. I could do that. That sounds good. Yeah, my brother told me about some, uh, you know, acting like a rooster that gets the girl's attention. You should try it. <laughs> I mean. Fuck. Hey. Hey, Tammy. Hey, how's it going? 
It's great. So, uh, unless I got my quarter sleeves on. <laughs> Rocking that out. Congrats. Uh, thanks. You look nice. Thank you. Where are you off to? Class. Can I um, walk with you to class? I was going to say carry your books, but we're not in the fifth. This, that's kind of weird. Right? Yeah, You're a little, little bit. Independent woman, I get it. So. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, we, we can. Yeah, sure. Cool, cool. So, uh, so what are you doing on Friday? Baseball game with Evan, actually. Uh, oh, okay, okay, cool. Yeah. But, but we're not playing, so are you like, you hanging out at Maryvale now, or? <laughs> well, I mean, since they lost, you know, a few of the players, you know, I'm friends with them, so, you know, we're kind of like all hanging out together oh. since they lost, and, you know, it's this kind of, you know, private event thing. Yeah, yeah. That, you know, a few people are invited to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. This is just breaking news. Are you news. smoking? Yeah. <laughs> you want to hit? We're in a public school. <laughs> Remember that girl? What was her name that I was hanging out with the Maryvale kids when we were in high school? Uh, uh, Charlene. <laughs> <laughs> That might have been her name. I don't remember. Anyway. Who gives a shit, you know? I was going to the old DQ, the one yeah. you used to work at. She's the manager there now. What? Since when? First time me going back there in about 10 years. Dang. How's she look? The same, <coughs> but <coughs> a little different. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little different. Ooh. Did life drop a deuce on her? But I mean, we all... <laughs> <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Danny, you, you nailed that one on that. But you know what? We've all changed. I mean, I was going to be this great star player. They were going to make a movie about me. And now all I do is collect checks from the government. Yeah. I know what you mean, man. I wanted to be a painter. But, uh, I don't know, I got really good at baseball. And <laughs> 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 see! <laughs> I'd like to apologize to the Americans with Disabilities for that last scene. We here at Shark Bite Improv don't write any of this down beforehand and know that you should never, ever go full retard, so. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry about that. Our next game is a game called Couples Therapy. It's for three players. Let's bring up three players. Who's gonna be, our, who's gonna be the therapist? Ryan's the therapist, oh, and we need a couple. So let me have a couple. Jonathan and Evan, excellent. So Ryan's gonna leave. All right, keep it cool, oh, Evan. God. <laughs> Thank you, Nick, for bringing in a, uh, oh, God. Oh, an extra chair. Now, let's hope that this time Ooh, Evan speaks a complete sentence. <laughs> All right, so the way couples therapy works is they are a couple that are having problems. And so what is Jonathan's problem with Evan? He won't stop hunting the Sasquatch. He won't stop hunting the Sasquatch. So Jonathan, your problem with Evan is that he will not stop hunting the Sasquatch. So I'm Marshall from How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> Never mind. We, no, I got it. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Oh, I got it. All right. So what's Evan's, what's Evan's problem with Jonathan? He goes to lemon parties. <laughs> Evan, you go to lemon parties, or Jonathan goes to lemon parties, and you're upset with this. I don't even want to know what that means. Well, let's bring in our therapist. Oh boy. A lemon party. <laughs> Babe, I'm telling you, it's we gotta make this fast, okay? Because I gotta get back online. <laughs> you know. Hey, doctor. <laughs> Doc How are you today? Good, good. Good, good, good. good. How yeah. are you, Dr. X? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Lexington is, is quite okay. You can call me Dr. L E X I N G T O N. <laughs> yes, okay, yes. Let's figure out what. Uh, oh. Sorry. I, I have the wrong form. <laughs> 
I thought you were the Gladysons. <laughs> no. 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 Herman, no. welcome. Yes. yes. Tanya, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so Herman, how how is your issue? Is it coming to a head or is it coming to a tail? Hmm. Well, frankly, he makes me sick. <laughs> I just can't, I can't even sleep at night. I just, I just see old people. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's over there in the bed just drooling. I know he dreams about it. He just goes off. Oh my God. I don't know where to begin. I'm sorry. My thoughts are all jumbled. <sighs> I guess start from the beginning. <laughs> he started volunteering at the rest home. At first, I thought it was no big deal. So, so then, are we still dealing with the geriatric pornography? No, no, I'm past that. <laughs> <laughs> He's part of the scene now. <laughs> he gets in there with these people with these hats that say things that don't exist anymore, and they just, <laughs> their skin <laughs> flapping. <laughs> and there's a lift up, and it's not even the women. He just doesn't even care about the women. You know, it's if you went to one, you would know that that's not how it goes down. Oh, I've seen enough on the internet. <laughs> can't believe Herman, you would do Herman, this to me. Herman, it. Herman, is it the issue of the lemon party? <laughs> no. I can't stop. I can't stop. You but can't you know stop. who else can't stop? This guy. All he does is just, he's paranoid about everything. If you think he's paranoid about me and lemon parties. <laughs> lemon. <laughs> lemon parties. I've detected them several times. Sorry. Myself. Yes. I accent the Let wrong letter sometimes. Really quick. Tanya, it's out there. My number. Th thank you. The future lemon party. Great. Yes. Great. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, to Herman's problem, Tanya. We live in the middle of the woods. Uh, excuse me. You had time to talk. It's my turn now. Okay, we live in the woods. I really like <laughs> I, I like how you're being so forceful and confident. We weren't that way in our first session. I know, I know. I've been taking some authority and I'm trying to express myself. So, in the woods, as you were. <clears throat> yes, and he's got all these traps set up, and they're not like for raccoons or oh. anything like that. They're something for a lot bigger. Pussy something that's kind of like your size, maybe a little bit <laughs> more hair kind of thing. <laughs> but it's, it's just, it's awful, because he's spending way too much money. He doesn't okay? understand that we are in danger. Millions, potentially, maybe thousands, probably hundreds, actually, of lives are in danger. <laughs> it's one person, it's one thing that tenure, you're searching. Tenure, 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 Sorry, tenure. sorry. What it appears to be is we're revisiting the, the, the bear trap situation. <laughs> well, bears are no problem. You feed them, you let your pets, you love them forever. I can handle that. See, because I got that wrist with the bells on it. I can take uh, care of it. <laughs> is it the, is it the Saskawatcha? Population. Mm. That's right. Something like that, yeah. I Is it the <sighs> Harry and the Hendersons? <laughs> <There's> <laughs> Harry situation. You got it. I'll give it to you. Exactly like that. Yeah. Oh, it's I a Bigfoot situation. Good. Oh. Yeah. Naturally, <laughs> naturally. All those words. These yeah. varying words. It gets so confusing in my profession. Well, so I'd like to thank you guys for coming in. You can have Bernice. Take your money. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. I was like, oh, for let Michelle? me sip okay. you my personal number, Tanya. Great, thank and you. And as well, and as well, if you need someone to catch, yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> and <laughs> sing. We here at Shark Bite Improv would like to apologize <laughs> to anybody who loves Mr. Mooney. From I love from the Lucy show as much as Ryan, because that was a spot on Mr. Mooney impression. <laughs> All right, let's play a game of Half Life. So that's for four players. I need four players up. All right. So Ryan, Taylor, Nick, and Evan. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna tell a story, and Nick and Evan will do it in 30 seconds, and then Ryan and Taylor will do it in 15 seconds, 7.5 seconds, 3.5 seconds, 1.5 seconds. Half point five seconds, yeah. and on and on, like a fairy into infinity. <laughs> so can I get a fairy tale? Somebody's like a, somebody's favorite fairy tale story. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park is <laughs> the heartwarming fairy tale of Jurassic Park. 
God, that movie still holds up 20 years later. One minute on the clock. Wait for it. Scene. Uh, come to my park, Skipper Snapper. I've done some cool stuff with the science. <laughs> I mean, this seems incredibly not safe. Oh, look, uh, a mosquito. Oh, my God, that's as big as my, my smart car. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. What, why would you bring me here? This is horrible. This is, this is bad. This is, where, 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 my kids were on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> the, where did they go? Time! 15 <laughs> seconds, go! An island with dinosaurs. How is that a good idea? That's what I'm the saying. The kids are on the freaking plane. They're here, and just, there's mosquitoes just, as big as smart cars. Just, just, watch, just watch the drops. Watch the just, drops. <laughs> just watch the drops. No! Time! 7.5 seconds, go! Oh my god! <laughs> it's just <I'm> stopped working! <laughs> Oh, Time! 3.5 seconds, go. That is one big pile of shit. Time! 1.5 seconds, go. They're dead. They're all dead. Time! Half a second, go. That was a bad idea. And see! <laughs> awesome. We're going to play a new game now. I don't have to apologize to anybody for that because that was... It's an excellent movie and deserves a little critique and mockery for its giant plot holes. How could those animals grow that fast and only be several years old? Like, it doesn't work that way. Like, they, those dinosaurs <laughs> were like 60 years old, which means they were doing genetic testing back in the 30s. So the next Nate, game Nate, is... What? Nate, it's okay. No, get it's right okay. in. It's okay. <laughs> Jurassic Park is a wonderful movie. <laughs> all right, we're gonna play a game. It's called 30 Second Chain Murder. And so I need all my players to leave. Oh. I need somebody to get the door. Uh, Perhaps a volunteer. You, sir, in the vest. Or you, you sir, in the, the vest, because you volunteer. <laughs> now, the way 30 Second Chain Murder works, it works like a game of telephone. Don't we need where one person? From you, the yeah. audience, I'm going to get a person, a place, and a thing. And one by one, they'll come in, and we'll pantomime out the murder. And like a game of telephone, the communication <laughs> lines will break so down. <laughs> okay. I know. So can I get a, uh, a famous person to be murdered? Bill Gates. Damn. Those are both really good. I'm gonna go with Bill Gates because I don't smell bad enough to be Kesha. <laughs> we here at Shark Bite Improv will not apologize to anybody who has a dollar sign in their name. So can I get a, uh, where was Bill Gates murdered? Not, and not the Microsoft Labs. Bill Gates in, in Walmart. I like Walmart. <laughs> and how? What is the uh, the a, a non-traditional weapon? A trombone. Because it's based on history, I'll do it. So it's Bill Gates at Walmart because of the Irish potato famine. All right, let's bring the first one in.
Hi, hi, hello. Oh, oh, man. Uh, officer, you are not. This, this might be. You do, well, just go with me here. Uh, the Pope was wandering through a field of daisies and he started eating them and his stomach exploded. And he just, it guts everywhere and, and we're going to need to <laughs> No, no, you fool. It's not how it went down. Give me that. Hello? Yes. No. It was the flower girl. <laughs> on planet flower <laughs> eating a petal and then she died like that alien thing in aliens no in, in space balls preposterous oh here does this work like this hello yes no 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 everything is wrong except for the last bit it was obviously the maid who killed him in las vegas with of course the alien thing of course mm. no 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 <sighs> Hello? <laughs> oh, thank you. Hello? Ding, ding. Oh, I'll just do the talking. I can't hear you very well. So, it was actually a tax man who was vacuuming his office and his IBS just exploded out of his stomach. <laughs> <laughs> no, get me the phone. Oh, you stupid idiot. Oh. It was a stenographer mowing her lawn as pubescent aliens begin growing out of her stomach. Oh. <laughs> How is that not? Give me that. What, you got a better one? <laughs> well, she got the accent right for the first time. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was, yeah, yeah, hey, Dave, yeah, it's Mike. Um, she, okay, it was Bill Gates oh. <laughs> in a Walmart. <laughs> And he died as a result of the Irish potato famine. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so you got the accent right, finally. All right, yeah, yeah, you have a good day. Tell Molly I said hi. Yeah, bye. And see! <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have come, sadly, to our second to last game. Oh. I know, I know. Boom. It's a game of party quirks, so it's for four players. Who's gonna be my four player? Who's gonna be my host? Oh, I'm not gonna be the. I so make a decision right now. It's Ryan gonna be the host. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Three people, right? Yeah. yeah. The way party quirks works is that Ryan is hosting a party and does not know who the three people mm. are that are attending his party. So for Jonathan, can I get a uh, a famous celebrity that is not William Shatner, Nicolas Cage, or Sean Connery? Right. Oh. <laughs> Ryan Go No, I heard Ryan Price. You are Ryan Price. That's a celebrity? <laughs> That's a famous person? Ryan okay. Price is a celebrity right here in Portland, Oregon. Got it. So, it'd be funny if they were all Ryan Price. <laughs> we're not going to do that. <laughs> that would be really funny. Uh, for Evan, 
<laughs> so can I get uh, evidence from <laughs> evidence from a time period in history? Where is Evan in the in the world in the, in the universe of history? Early Greek. <laughs> Evan, you're a peasant in the 1100s. <laughs> And for Nick, uh, <laughs> what horrible medical problem does Nick have? Elephantitis. Yes. Nick, you have elephantitis. <laughs> it's really only one place you get elephantitis. <laughs> All right. I'll let you figure that out. <laughs> Let's bring Ryan back in. <laughs> Great. Scene. Mom, we still have the phone tonight. I'm having friends over for a lamb party. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Doritos. <laughs> Oreos. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Surge. <laughs> It would be 1994. Hi! Hey, what the up? Hey, Come on in, did you bring your computer? It's beautiful morning, is it not? It is. It is. Is this the king's food stalls? My lord lands? More or less, peasants. It's enough to feed a thousand villages in here. <laughs> oh. Have you tried these Oreos? I have not had anything but dirt since I was born. Mom, I'll get it, don't worry! Yes, I love you too! What up, bitch? How are you? What's up, son? I, I wasn't sure you were gonna make it. That's right, why are you wearing the same thing as me, dog? Come on! You crazy, man. You crazy, boy. What, what do we got here? Uh -huh. Oh, he's coming into my party for such high energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. That's right, bro. Uh, Dude, I gotta keep it alive, man. I gotta keep it alive. Yeah. I drank like five whiskeys before I started here. Uh, <laughs> some kind of Tony or Chad, of course. <laughs> no, mom, it's cool. I got it. Oh, that that drink <laughs> yeah, hi. Oh, get God. Some drinks on it, man. Hey, how's it going? You need a little, oh, need a little help? Yeah, that'd be great. Did, did, oh. did you get. Oh. Did oh, your land cord to get you all tripped up? Oh, God. Something like that? Oh. Oh, I need a chair. <laughs> oh. Oh. What's wrong, dog, man? Dude, come on. There are no dogs. Get here. some energy in you, man. You gotta come in with the party bumping. I went to one of those free clinics. They just said ibuprofen. That has done nothing. <laughs> nothing to relieve the swelling. Hey, I'll take off my shirt and you can feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the herpes? No. Let no. me take off my shirt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Feel See, save that for the reunion show on on on, on Jersey Shore. I don't watch that stuff. Man. I don't watch that stuff. I'm from Portland, man. From Come House on. Portland? What? Portland? You're what? Just a regular Dixie? <laughs> <laughs> you're, the, you're not the only Dick I see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bro. yeah, bro. I was just fucking with you, man. Uh, peasant. So what's wrong, man? Oh, peasant, God. you seem yeah. to have an injury. Peasant. Oh, my. Peasant. No, it's okay. Bring it out. It was cut off for looking at another lord's land. Oh, my. <laughs> uh, you're d d d a peasant of some kind, yeah? Is Constantinople not the capital of Christianity? <laughs> you want a drink, man? Oh, yeah. I'm going to keep thinking about what you can do for our land party. You enjoy the Doritos. Mm. So, uh... Yo, where you get that shirt at? <laughs> Yo, my mom got it for me. Yeah, 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 the plaid. I got it too. I can button it. I can unbutton it. I'll take it off. Here. <laughs> you work at... I, I work with kids, man. Oh, you know this. <laughs> you know this. There it is. See, I work with kids. See, I can take my shirt off. <laughs> Make it snap. You must be this great preschool teacher that I had a few years ago. You had a really great beard and the biggest penis in the world. <laughs> you want to see? <laughs> this beer of yours. That's right. Nice tattoos. That's right. <laughs> Got this flower one. <laughs> yeah. 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 You must be right impressed. Yes. Yeah. Right. That's right. Oh, God. Holy Thanks shit. Thanks for coming.
Thanks for coming. Got you, I walked by that preschool. The kids <laughs> mocked me endlessly. <laughs> they said, oh, look at him. He's got... So my mom, she, whenever we have these parties, she always makes sure but I have a, a first aid kit. So is there anything that, in here that we can help you with? Uh, probably not. Maybe this seems like that something that might require <laughs> surgery. <laughs> surgery? You uh, broke your leg. Um, well, it's both, both legs, pretty much from the knees down. And they just look like they're hideous and 40 times as large as they should be. <laughs> it's like you got trunks. <laughs> <laughs> you have elephantitis. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Ryan, you're the back. I got your back, John. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should put a beanie on. That would I should. help. I should. I wish I had one. Too bad you're balding. <laughs> <laughs> your chest hair makes up for it. That's right. Um, and back hair. <laughs> Peasant of some kind, Constantinople. Uh, uh, oh, oh, it is not where I'm from, but no. it's like when you I get like your stuff. Nine, ten, eleven. Hundred. You're eleven hundred. <laughs> <laughs> You're from the dark ages. Yes, that is absolutely right. Yeah. Uh, and Thanks. scene. Well, that was good. <laughs> Ryan, the the moment of realization. It was beautiful. <laughs> yeah. We're not going to apologize to Ryan Price or his family <laughs> for mocking him publicly in front of R Ryan Price. <laughs> Sadly, we've come to our very last game of the night. And as always, it is objection. So let's bring everybody up for objection. And in objection, we are a panel of lawyers. And we are going to argue a very trivial topic for you, like the best breakfast cereal or the best way to leave your wife at the altar. Something along those lines. And so, from you, the audience, can I get a suggestion of the, the best or the worst of something? Disney yeah. sidekick animal. Him. I heard very excitedly, Disney sidekick animal. <laughs> That's pretty good. So I'm gonna go with that. We have three minutes, two and a half minutes on the clock. At the end of that time, whoever holds the floor wins the game. The best. Scene. The best Disney sidekick animal is Iago. <laughs> Why? Because it's Gilbert Godfrey. And he's and objection. He also plays a duck. Getting all, too many birds in his game. <laughs> too many geese in his gander, if you will. The same movie, Aladdin. Let's take a moment. Okay, that's long enough. So the best animal sidekick is a poo. He'll objection. Say objection. It's a boo. <laughs> <laughs> is that the Simpsons? <laughs> best sidekick animal is gonna be Sebastian. Little Mermaid. Objection. I, I he is a buzzkill. You're a buzz. <laughs> <laughs> the best animal sidekick is Jacques and Gus and Cinderella. I mean, they're two cute little mice, and they help her out. They get her to a ball. They get her a prince. Objection. They get her a better life. She wore mice turd infested clothing. <laughs> That's disgusting. She probably has Lhasa or something awful. In it. <laughs> anyway, you can't get d diseases from birds, which is why. Objection. Got <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Bird flu. Jacques. And Gus, they have this awesome comedic timing in of themselves. One's a chubby little mouse, one's the other cute Objection. little mouse. It's Gus Gus. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 I don't even know your Disney animals like I do. But anyways, <laughs> Sebastian, wait. Yeah, that's his name. Uh, Sebastian, <laughs> best, best animal. He... Objection, he, he never lets her do anything fun. No, <laughs> the best Disney sidekick animal is R2-D2 because Disney now owns Star Wars. <laughs> and he's pretty much an animal. Objection! Oh. He's not a carbon-based life form. <laughs> he's silicone-based. No, so, Iago, you can't get diseases from birds. I mean, yes, maybe you can, but not from parrots because they're really clean and fun to have Objection. around your house. Objection! They are covered in crackers. Yeah. <laughs> As I was saying... Abu, but thank you for getting the upside down P reference. <laughs> Thirty uh, seconds. Uh, 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 oh, the monkey, so he can he can jump on a. Car no, he doesn't go on. Objection! A he he turns into an elephant. He's not a monkey. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. But we got Sebastian. Where's my lens? There we go. Sebastian, <laughs> he's the best. Objection! Got served with a side of butter. Oh. 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 Ten oh. seconds. The best Disney sidekick is by far Pluto because a mouse owning a dog is like a man Objection. owning a giant wolf. There's also Goofy, who is also a dog. So is he keeping a handicapped person as a pet? Oh. 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 And on that dark note, Taylor wins the game. <laughs> yeah. Woo. All right. That is our show.